Good morning, everybody. Uh, call meeting order. Notice meeting was properly posted Thursday, May 18, 2017. I have three discussion possible actions to prove the minutes from the regular meeting on 5, 8, 17. Have you guys reviewed those? Yes, seen no changes. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, motion and a second to approve the minutes. All in favor? Aye. 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 And just a special note of thank you to Matthew. I really appreciate that he got verbatim the board comments. No worries. Thank you. Item number four, discussion of doing possible action regarding update on the TIP 2 projects. Item A, well, actually, let's see if, if we could. Well, I'll just go through this way. Item A, the roof replacement, annex roof replacement. No update on No that. update. Okay. Item three, discussion of doing possible action uh, annex elevator. For this building, that, that's the name. Okay. <coughs> well, there, there, yes. So we, we got insurance money from the flood, or we will be getting it. Uh, about, the key is about $360,000, I think. I think this item addresses the um, new elevator um, proposal to okay. install. All right. Never mind then. Okay, so disregard that message that we're getting three hundred and some thousand dollars back from insurance related to flooding. Okay. Item C discussion to do uh, annex front entrance and security. Uh, nothing new on that. Okay. Item D uh, annex exterior maintenance and lighting. That is ongoing, and I have photographs of what's been completed. This is how the building looks at night. Oh, good. You can see the wires that are so inappropriately placed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, okay. They're, uh, they should have the front of the building completed this week. What does it look like during the day? Well, it's kind of like drinking yeah. wires, drink around. Looks great. And then we're actively designing the maintenance portion of that uh, as we speak. We'll go maybe go out to bid in July, possibly. And what might that be? Well, sealing the building where it leaks. Um, we found all the leaks uh, in the flood that they talked about. I don't know where they are. Anything else other than sealing the building? Well, uh, we'll the maintenance. Will that we power wash it? Get the windows, wash the windows, and of that nature. Okay. Okay. And it'll also allow us to. Yeah, we'll take the wires uh, at that time because that's the right contractor to do that and seal or test. Yes, I know more loop wires. Okay. Anything else on D? Uh, uh, item C is the night floor demo and elevator of the courthouse. Ongoing, I assume? It's ongoing. We should be finishing up the AV portion of that in the next couple of weeks. Um, and you've started your discussion on the elevator, right? That's right. We should have some numbers here. <coughs> we should have that on the 30th and 31st to start demolition, correct? That was the outside contractor. Yes. yes. Item F uh, is the repurposing of the ninth floor in the courthouse. So we've got a, a plan for District Two's uh, floor plan for the southwest corner. We met with David Prater and the Witness Center bunch last week. They're uh, going to give us a floor plan of what they would like to have to utilize. It's probably a good idea at this time if you can identify any other uh, occupants you might want uh, on that space in that space so we could uh, do an entire build out if necessary. I believe this committee has already addressed District 2's layout. Correct. And so the District Attorney's layout will be coming to you in the future maybe. And there's still space available. The only space available is the Northwest. Correct. The thought is to 
move some sort of government agency out of <coughs> ICB so we can outfit that and turn some more money out of ICB? Are we off the agenda? No. And, and of the anticipated space that would be available for that third entity, how, how much space are we looking at? Across, I'm thinking about 4,000, 4,500 square feet or so in use of space. And I, I, I would think that probably, well, not Miles' question, it's at least been talked about that court services may be a likely candidate to move over there. Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. We can't move court yeah. services there because of witness protection and everything. Oh, that's right. We'll be running. Remember? Originally, yeah, yeah, yeah right. originally, yeah. but we I talked about with um, maybe moving the auditor there because they've got a large space in ICP. Um, okay. Just anybody that may think we yeah. got to be careful with who we put in there because of the sensitivity of right. Yeah, this space that people that will be there. All right. All right. So I guess stay tuned. <laughs> Jail lower roof. Uh, there's really five parts of that roof. One is complete, and we're in the second phase this week. Okay. Contracts going well. Jail fire notification. The update on that is um, Simplex Grinnell will not green tag the system until they can test all the devices and devices in the kitchen or in areas where they where there's work going on and so until the work in the kitchen is completed they cannot test everything and so we're um, we're going to be on yellow tag um, until kitchen work is done and I'm sure the Department of Labor is not going to be happy about that but we have no control over that <coughs> but it does last three or four devices get put in I think so or, or they're in progress. All right. Anything else on item four? Is not a motion to receive the update. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, item five: discussing the possible action and or making the recommendation to the board of county commissioners to use the unoccupied office <coughs> the annex as temporary space for personnel while office renovation and mechanical upgrades take place. I'm not sure who put this on, but it's there. United Mechanical is ready to continue work on the sixth floor, replacing VAV units. Those VAV units uh, that are uh, above D1's offices have been addressed and above, above Rabbit's office have been addressed. Uh, they'll need to continue through this, the sixth floor above the ceiling. We were looking at possible places where individuals could be temporarily relocated and this presented itself since it's currently being used just for furniture storage. Now, it was half, I guess, that the public defender and the court clerk would use some of that space for their file storage. I don't know what they have occupied thus far or how much would be left, but it would be nice to have that space down, downstairs designated as, as some kind of an overflow space if necessary. And if we do that, is that something that uh, emergency management could go into since it's rather crowded down there? Depending on the amount of space that's left, I'm not certain. Or could we perhaps move emergency management along a little quicker and not utilize it as storage space? It's a possibility. <coughs> it was kind of crowded in there the other day. And that's what I understand. Lots of folks in and out the door and lights with loops and things. So in the event we don't get <coughs> moving on that, seriously, can can we find a space that we could all meet? I, I believe so. That west, the far west end that MIS had used for training would be perfect. It's, it's large and it's open. We already 
to be. Yeah, what, what is the thought? We already use it for storage. Right? Who, are we, who are we thinking about moving on the sixth floor? District 3, the DA Civil Division, what, what are we trying to do here? Any, anybody we would have to relocate temporarily in order to get above the ceiling. If we have to do a containment, if we have to do a containment, uh, that means we're going to have to displace people, set a containment up. I mean, you've seen these, these kinds of things constructed before. We'll need to do that everywhere we have a BAV uh, unit. And I don't think you're talking an entire department. You're talking three or four individuals at a time. That's right. For three weeks, in and out, in and out. That's right. Situation. Unless it, like District 3, it would be our entire downtown office. Which would make the most sense. Sure. Just depending on how many VAV units exist above your space, that would... And so we, we just need to <coughs> make a recommendation to the board that the space be made available for, for us if we, if we have to be moved down there that's that's something right. like District 3. And this includes <coughs> the MIS training space or the, just the space around it? But I think that depends on what you want to do with emergency management. If you decide to... I'd like to finish it. That, that would be the easiest. Yeah, I'm in agreement, in agreement with you there. Well, uh, I, I move approval of the item if we just need to give a temporary space. Yeah, just give permission for that to be used for temporary space for District 3 or Civil DA or whoever needs to be used for a limited amount of time while those repairs are being made. Exactly. Okay, let me read it before because you, you said a limited amount of time. So are we talking asbestos abatement? <coughs> asbestos abatement, then removal and replacement of the VAV unit. To right, and we're, we're doing all the asbestos Abatement in house, correct? Yes. And so, how are how are your crews right now with all of the myriad of things we've got going on? What is the timeliness in which they would be able to begin anything on the sixth floor? Well, first of all, is this really going to be? I guess the question is, how quickly can this be done? Is this really a limited time? Yes, it is a limited time. I mean, we're we're making progress slowly, as you pointed out, but we're <coughs> we're hindered. You know, we're hindered by what lives up there. We've got AB that we have to contend with. Uh, sometimes the contractor is held up in other places and can't get here. They're dependent on their schedule as well. Let me ask you this. Sorry. Oh, no, go you go ahead. You're currently doing AB on the ninth floor. Are you going to be done with the AB on the ninth floor and everywhere else in order to focus solely on the sixth floor? No. Okay, where else are you going to have? Any place else we have to do repair work in this building, if it's plumbing, if it's electrical, if it's anything above the ceiling that comes up that we have to address, that has the possibility <coughs> of requiring A B work. So I can't I can't say I can't say that we're going to be able to focus solely on that. Because I can't tell what's gonna happen. You know you know what this building is like. So but I, we'll do our very best to focus and keep this at a minimum. My my fear is as it's been since we started this project, and this is and this something I talked about before this committee was even in place, et cetera, was that we were going to spread ourselves so thin, and you guys do great work. I'm not criticizing you or them. It's just the fact of the matter is we've got, a, I don't even know how many projects ongoing. And here we are looking to designate space in order to jump to do something else. So are we gonna are we gonna be kind of on miles? Are we gonna be working some up on the ninth floor and then some over on the sixth floor and some who knows where else that we might be, need to be? I can I can envision a <coughs> layout of where the VAD units are located. We'll we'll try and address a grouping of them. <coughs> I don't know if that's two or if that's three, and we'll do our best to target those things in order to stay ahead of United Mechanical. United Mechanical has a contract in place to address the first floor, the second floor, and the sixth floor. That was the first phase of, of their work to replace the HVAC in this building. And Stacy can probably discuss the time on this. Uh, they're ready to move on with this, and we need to. We're at that point. Yes, we need to get going on six. United Mechanical will 
They're at one right now, but they're ready to send some crews up to six. They're waiting on us. Uh, I, I understand that. We'll that. Be the question is, in order to move on to six, is something else that we've already started and begun work on going to suffer and languish again? Again, I've been told there's only one procedure left on the ninth floor, and it'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. and they'll be done on nine with A B. So they'll only be working A B in six. one and six. Barring any unforeseen issues. Barring any unforeseen issues. I understand issues that we can't control. Fully understand that. How much longer on one before all asbestos is removed? For the current it project? It wouldn't be all the asbestos to be removed. The attachment points. For the current project. The asbestos that needs to be removed for the current that, project. That, that's ongoing. That's ongoing. As changes in duct work take place, changes in the, the piping, the piping locations, take place, it requires additional scrapes for hangers. Uh, sometimes those things can't be completely anticipated. And that's, that's what we're struggling with. I think while they're waiting to do one on one that they don't anticipate they could do one on six. Sure. They can be going back and forth each week between the two floors. And we need to keep that United Mechanical contract running. I don't mind displacing District 3 for any amount of time. No offense, Randy. But displacing the DA civil office would make a bad idea. Most of their stuff is all right there in hand. I can't imagine trying to move all that and make that accessible for them and then turn it right back around and move it again. Well, I don't think the anticipation would be that everything has to be removed. I mean, again, we're not going to move all of our file cabinets and things from District 3. I wouldn't imagine. I mean, there are ways to protect that. I mean, but that's computers, phones, things of like that nature. I mean, if the DA civil office is contemplating that everything in the office has to be re relocated for a period of two to three weeks, then that's a whole other issue. But I don't anticipate that that's actually what has to take place, correct? That's, that's correct, but one that large. Right. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I moved the item. All, we, all we're doing here is recommending that that space be made available for the temporary housing of, of offices from the sixth floor. I don't think that's an issue. Just as long as, I mean, be prepared. You may need it in a while. Okay. Second. That was a second? All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. And that again, that motion was a recommendation to utilize the space as a swing space for the sixth floor. Is that what you said, Randy? Uh, I moved the item as it was. As written. Really? Okay, I thought. Right. Move, yeah, move approval, make a recommendation. Okay, all right. Item number six <coughs> discussion, reviewing possible action uh, related to mold at the Oklahoma County Jail. This has my name on here, but I think it's just kind of a reoccurring, <laughs> it's a reoccurring item. On every so. week, this one. Uh, plans are done. Title sheet was signed by the Board of County Commissioners last meeting. The pre-bid for the contractors is June the 7th. We'll open bid sometime towards the end of June. I don't know exactly what that price is going to be, but the engineer's estimate is it's headed today at $800,000. That uh, is on the watch list, but maybe not all eight. I think we've got six on there. There's a number on the watch list, uh, but probably not enough. And that gets the mechanical back in place so that the the uh, remediation contractor can finish, and maybe we can open that kitchen back up uh, towards fall. Motion to receive the update. Soon. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item seven, new business. Floods, anything that we need to know about electrical fires, whatever. Okay. I made citizens' participation. Anybody from DHS want to speak? Lawyers, <laughs> <laughs> specifically a balding one. Uh, any board comments? Miles. <coughs> Dude, I'm just so accustomed to I mean, it's like they're a part of the committee. <laughs> I want to hear from them. Okay, Randy. For me. 
Anybody else? Not for me. Uh, I'm finished in church. Second. All favor? Aye. Aye.